This is the Meet ETX 105 optical tube assembly. It's a Maxit of telescope. And I was not able to use it because it was just OTE and OTA. And I needed a, ma a ring for that. So I just used this ring which I had for a guide scope. And uh, to stop the scratch on the body of the thing, I used the foam and some duct tape. The originally this room um, had their own nylon ends that they stopped. But if I put that, diameter will not be enough. Uh, I'm using a series of eyepieces, including the other 32mm plus sole, which gives a good color-free images. But the excellent one is this Nirvana 7mm and Panoptic, surprise, surprise, Panoptic of using it. It has a green margin around the moon, so I'm not sure what's the reason for this. Well, it gives a good view, but uh, the color fringe is existing there. So, this is a lovely telescope. Maxitos are really good. If I wanted to use a 4 inch refractor, it should have been yeah, <laughs> this size uh, around more than one, yeah, more than one meter, around 1.2 meters. With this, it's just a compact, I can put it on a little Dobsonian mount and a little table and sit on a chair and just observe easy. Sweet. And this is my first impression of this. This is a really good Microsoft of design. This ETX 105. If you can get one, that that is equal to a four-inch refractor. And I've not cleaned it or anything. It just I've been in the storage for a long time. Wow, the view to the. Nirvana 7mm of Jupiter. It, has, it is as close as to a refractor, it's especially that uh, Lyra F11 telescope. This is F10. Oh wow, the image of Jupiter. I can see so many numerous bands. Ooh. Yeah, such a compact package. Not bigger than a half a meter, one foot. Yeah, that's sentimental. I have never seen such a thing. The discovered satellite or moons of Jupiter, one of the moons of Jupiter is passing just the edge and behind it is trailing the shadow of it under Jupiter. <laughs> that disk is visible. <laughs> I never saw it even with a refractor. It's round. It's clearly round. I'm using the Teleview Nagler 5 cm field of view like the Nirvana 82 degrees magnification 2 mm uh, lower mag um, focal length magnification higher it's not as clear as the Nirvana Nirvana is, is something else Nirvana 7 mm sharp this one not sharp it's just as if you have a uh, you know, blurred the image of the Nirvana. Nirvana is better, and the price of it is, uh, I tell you, yeah, a quarter of it. <laughs> this is amazing, the easiest and the best four inch telescope I've ever used. Just strange, both of the um, Teleview Panoptic 24mm and Teleview Nagler 5mm 
a false color around the moon. For the panoptic is uh, green and for Nagler is orange. But Nirvana, both of them, 7 and 16, are colorful. They don't have any false color.